day we'll be sailing up Four Point Channel, up Boston Harbor, through the lock, the Charles River Basin, then back down the basin, back down the harbor, back to our starting point. Till I floated down the stream to a town they call Misery. What kind of sparked the idea and what was the goal in doing the tour? Well, I get one, one aspect that sparked the idea for the architecture tour was the BSA, the Boston Society of Architects, moving into our new space here at Atlantic Wharf. Um, because of the chapter 91 requirements of the building, the BSA manages two public spaces, our gallery space upstairs and our visitor center downstairs. And we also have access to um, two home slips out on uh, Four Point Channel. So we were thinking, how do we take best advantage of these boat slips and, you know, architecture water tours seem like Great answer. My favorite thing about this tour was that we got to learn about all the architects and the people who designed the building, so they always bring it. Really nice to see like a different perspective of the Boston Harbor, and um, it was really nice to see how the old buildings have been there for hundreds of years and the new buildings have been integrated very well with each other. It really makes the Boston Harbor a unique uh, place to be and to visit whenever you're in Boston. This is the first year that we've done this specific tour. This is the first year that we've really honed the content to make it really specifically architectural. Well, we also got to hear about how, how all the neighborhoods were affected by the different elements that we're in. Um, all the buildings that are close to the harbor, they're mainly brick buildings because they're not as affected by salt. They also told us a lot about the different styles. The Bunker Hill Monument was actually Egyptian and Roman influence, and that was really cool. Interesting thing about boat tours as opposed to walking tours is that the leader of the tour can't control the pace. They can't control where they stop, how long they take. Um, so that's been that's been a really a fun challenge, but still a challenge. So we just finished the cruise, and my favorite thing was definitely the fact that a lot of the newer buildings resemble different things about the harbor. Another thing that I enjoyed was that we got to see the harbor from the water. It was kind of cool seeing all the buildings from the water and them from ground level. Let's try to tell the whole story of the waterfront and Charles River with the buildings as kind of our jumping off point. Ten thousand umbrellas open to.